Hey yeah, fools, Big T here. This is another one of those proves videos. I did one uh, a couple years ago, actually. Uh, it's not a series or anything, it's just me. When I think about something, um, I just wanna do a little video that, that I feel that proves my point. And this one is called 3DS Proves Third Party Laziness. And uh, <laughs> you probably already can figure that out just by the title alone, what I mean by that. And I just mean that um, there's a you know there's a discussion about the switch and the uh, install base, and you know driving up the install base to make sure these third party companies uh, have uh, more customers to serve definitely makes sense. The fact of the matter is that's not should I say inherently enough to drive up to drive up support for the switch because all you have to really do is look at the Nintendo 3DS and there's a lot of similarities there between the 3DS and the uh, Switch being that uh you know the 3DS has its own architecture and you know ways to make games for it and the same thing goes to Switch uh when it you know when it goes to when it pertains to the industry uh everybody else is pretty much x86 when uh the Switch is using ARM technology so you have to do different things to uh, make your games run on Switch. And, you know, ARM isn't a hard thing to program for. It's just different because everybody else, uh, being PC, obviously, uh, Xbox One and uh, PlayStation 4, uh, they're all x84, uh, x84, x86, and the Switch is ARM. And so when you look at the 3DS and how piss poor Western companies, Western third parties supported it, uh, you can see similarities in what's probably going to happen with Switch. Uh, the 3DS, I believe, right now is sitting at, what, uh, 70 million or so, 70 million plus uh, consoles out there, and Western third party pretty much <laughs> acts like it doesn't even exist. Uh, and that's a really sad situation. And, you know, that is very similar to what's going to happen on the Switch. Uh, you're not going to get everybody on board, um, even with a large install base, because it's different. And you're going to have to dedicate different teams, um, because, you know, the main guys are probably going to be working on a different game or uh, future games for the, the x86 architecture. Uh, while they also want to put out something for uh, for the Nintendo console. So it's going to happen. And to me, it's a very sad day because there was a time when companies had no problem uh, supporting, especially a Nintendo handheld, because we all know how popular Nintendo handhelds are. And, you know, Switch is not just a handheld, it's a hybrid. Uh, but, you know, the the fact still remains that it's going to be a popular console it's going to sell millions and millions and millions of consoles. And it's, there's going to be an install base that a lot of third parties aren't going to care about, regardless of the size. It's the same way with the 3DS. Because there's so much money to be made on 3DS that they just don't care <laughs> to put the effort into making. And if they just don't care enough to put that effort in uh, on the 3DS, it's going to be similar on the Switch. They just leave that money out there. That is, uh, to me, that is the epitome of laziness. Like, you know there's money to be made. You know there's a big install base. And you're still not going to support the thing. You know, I'm pretty sure that the Switch, or I'm pretty sure that the 3DS is very cheap, you know, console to program for, to make games for. Um, you have, you know, everything from major, at least Eastern third parties, to very small Western indie. Um, the Western indie guys will support it. That's, you know, a given. And they're doing the same with the uh, the Switch as well. But when it comes to the major guys, they don't feel like they want to put in the time and effort, um, the investment uh, to to make games or make a a, a side company or a smaller a smaller uh, development group, I should say, to make games for the Switch. And that to me is pretty pathetic, uh, pretty lazy, and uh, it is what it is at this point. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I really have on that. You're going to see third-party games here and there on the Switch, uh, some major releases, some ports of older, uh, you know, maybe 7th-gen games, 
sometimes sixth even, but mostly seventh gen, or seventh gen games. You're going to see stuff like that pop up on Switch. Um, you'll see some of the major titles come out. We have NBA 2K, uh, WWE 2K 18. And uh, so there will be efforts here and there. But if you ever were thinking at some point the NX that became the Switch is going to get, you know, similar third party. Um, I did a video a while back. Would it get would it be closer to Wii or GameCube? I said Wii. And uh, looks like I was right because <laughs> there's no way you're going to get GameCube levels of uh, support on the Switch as far as third party, Western third party goes. Um, that's just not going to happen at this point. And that could change, I guess, a couple years down the road. Maybe these guys will see the light. But uh, right now, it doesn't seem that way. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys for listening and watching as always. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Play Nintendo, fools. <laughs>